first alert weather day update. Well, I want to let you know a tornado watch has just been issued as we've gone into the late night hours. We've got a line segment coming out of Georgia that's really prompted. It's energized out of coming out of Atlanta and is now beginning to move into the upstate. So it's areas south of 85 that are going to be of the greatest concern. Tornado watch means tornadoes are possible, and this is through 8 a.m. That may be on the later end. It's likely going to be ending toward around 4 to 5 in the morning based on the latest data, uh, but we'll be watching it for you. You all night long, uh, but this does not include Greenville, Spartanburg, easily points to the north, uh, but I still want everybody uh, on guard and uh, keeping up with your first alert weather app throughout the evening. And of course, we'll be breaking into programming as necessary. Let's get to the radar. I do want to show you where we're seeing this. And again, this is the thinking right now. I think of with National Weather Service and the Storm Prediction Center. We've got a line segment that's coming into Elbert County. Uh, severe thunderstorm warning uh, that as this moves into Anderson and Abbeville counties, but there is a tornado possible tag on this severe thunderstorm warning because this storm has produced a radar indicated tornado back near Atlanta. So it was back around uh, east west of Athens where this storm was the most active. Now it's bringing in a bunch of lightning strikes into part of Elbert County. Uh, it's a line right now. So at this point, I'm not overly concerned about the rotational aspect of it. Uh, and we've been monitoring that. It does not right now look like it has much spin with it. Some overall broad rotation. And if it were to tighten up and potentially uh, be able to reach the ground, we could be looking at a, a tornado situation. So that's the reason that we're going to be uh, watching this one closely. And as we continue to track the rotation with this, we're not seeing anything along the 85 corridor. Uh, but as this moves on into Elbert County, you can see we've got some reds and greens here together. It's fairly broad rotation. Nothing that's tightly packed. We're not seeing a lot of bright colors here either, but it is something that we'll be monitoring uh, again, especially considering that we're in an environment where tornadoes are absolutely a possibility and we've already seen that with this storm. So let's get back to the uh, regular radar and I'll show you again. We've got this line segment here and what it's going to do. It's going to be moving on into Abbeville County. Chrissy Kohler is here with me for team coverage, and she's going to do a track for us uh, as this moves on into Ab uh, Abbeville County. Eventually, will affect you in Greenwood County. And again, no guarantees we're going to get any kind of tornado out of this, but this is a severe thunderstorm warning with damaging wind potential and can't rule out a tornado. It's a tornado possible situation. And if that gets escalated, if we're looking at a considerable damage situation, we will let you know. We'll get back on the air. Uh, but for now, we're tracking the heaviest of the rain into Greenwood by about 2.15, uh, 2.30 in Lawrence, 2.40 for Presbyterian College, but it's right on top of you in Elberton, and this is going to take it right through Abbeville County and ultimately into Greenwood County. So one that we're going to be watching very, very closely into the overnight hours. Be sure to have our Fox Carolina First Alert weather app. We send an update straight to the app when we got that tornado watch. Scan the code on your screen. I'll give you a second to do that because if you are are getting worried about this situation if you you know you're scared that you're going to sleep through some dangerous weather you can download this app make sure you have your phone turned up you have your settings on so that you know that you'll get those alerts your notifications from the app and if there's a tornado warning for your area it will let you know and the other great thing is we're going to be sending video updates through the night straight to the app as well. We will check back in with you a little bit later on as we monitor this storm and keep you posted. And of course, if a tornado warning is issued, we will be right back on the air.